The Premier League is back tomorrow as Nottingham Forest will host Leicester City at the world famous City Ground. And we have a lot to talk about tonight. Is it revenge for the 4 0? Is this a rivalry? Do we care or do they care about us more? Let's get into it and let's speak to our special guest tonight, Lee. Good morning, good evening or good night, wherever in the world you are. Hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to the showdown as we've got one of, I've got to say, the best YouTubers because I love his graphics oh, cheers, as well. Man. Lee, it's fantastic to see you, buddy. How are you doing tonight, mate? Yeah, good, good, good. I'm not, I'm not optimistic about the weekend, but we'll get into that in just a short mo. Yeah, but I don't think you were probably <laughs> optimistic when you were at home, you know, no. a couple of months back, because your run going into that was shit, man. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and it's yeah. almost becoming a, a kind of deja vu of the build up to that, because you guys have been pretty crappy lately as well, mate. Yeah, I mean, the, I think the home fixture was more about revenge from the season before with the FA Cup. Yeah, knockout, I yeah. Think. Um, but this one's a little bit on the worrying side because we, well, you'll see in a bit when I get the lineups up, um, we have no players. <laughs> There's no one. <laughs> is this is this you just saying that and preempting because you're worried or legitly have you no players? Um, well, how we played against Newcastle in a quarter final. That was a poor um, game, mate. I, I mean, poor is questionable. <laughs> we were fucking atrocious. Um, you're all right for swearing on this channel, aren't you? You'd say what you want, mate. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll rewind. We were fucking atrocious. Um, and uh, yeah, the FA Cup against Gillingham wasn't exactly um, convincing. <sighs> and now we've got you guys, which is, um, I know you don't like to call it a rivalry, um, but it is a bit of an East Midlands clash. Well, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because obviously for us, Derby's the big one. But now they're, you know, insignificant in the lower echelons of uh, League One or whatever it's called now. We're, you know, a whole two divisions ahead of them. So I'm up for a new rivalry, yeah? But I don't know if Leicester are quite worthy of it. I mean, you don't have any stars on your badge for a start. Whoa, so. whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we just rewind? Can we just rewind? All right. All right. My, my take on that is a lot of your younger fans wouldn't have even existed when that happened. Uh, and I thought I think football's slightly different to when you guys won it. Um, hats off. You won it twice. Thank you. Thank you. Hats off. But don't you think football has changed slightly since then them days um I'm it has sure. but history doesn't change mate history doesn't in the change books. you're right yeah but, do, do you want to take away your premier league title because that I was mean, in the past i mean you say past but it was like you know less than 10 years ago so so, so what's your definition of past then you got where's, where's your cutoff well yes, i mean come on at least this sort of i don't know maybe century <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I, I am 21, so it was not <laughs> before my time. Yeah, <laughs> it was before my time. Legitly, I wasn't born when Forrest won the European Cups, but yeah. the badges are on my tops. So, you know, it's a good reminder there. Look, all I'm going to say is at, right now, modern football, the way it's going, it's all about money. And uh, although I suppose at the time, Leicester were probably a bit better off money-wise than you guys at the time. We weren't exactly rich when we won the Premier League and we weren't exactly rich winning the FA Cup. It's not like we're one of the big media six. So I think what we achieved really, you got to ha hats off. I, I respect I, Look, I respect it. I thought it was a fantastic season. Obviously, um, Kante and Mahrez carried you Unreal. Um, Unreal. with Vardy as well. You know, no one's seen um, it coming. No one's seen it coming. No one saw it coming, but you had the secret weapon, didn't you? You had uh, yeah. one of our old boys, Wes Morgan, who ah, was sort of, you know, Captain Where's Fantastic. Yeah, is a blue, is a blue, is a blue. Where's He's Morgan? never Where's a blue, blue, mate. He hates Forrest. Where's it? Guys anyway. in the chat. Guys in the chat. Is he blue or red? Seriously? <laughs> We uh, gave you, as Keith says, Wes uh, Morgan. <laughs> Wes Morgan is a blue. Anyway. <laughs> But you kind of had a bit of a collapse after that, didn't you? You hit the dizzy heights of fluking yeah. the Premier League. And then about Ranieri was treated like... Over, can't win a Premier League season over 38 games. 
by 10 points is a fluke, really. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say you won it or Arsenal and Spurs lost Uh, it. You know, it depends which way you want to look at it. I mean, we beat Spurs in their own back garden, mate. So I don't know about that. Everyone beats Spurs, though. Everyone beats Spurs, mate. Look at look where they are now, eighth in the league or something, uh, falling well, like look, a like a stone. We, I don't think we're in a position where we can banter Spurs. Look where we all fall. <laughs> I have to know. My brother's a Spurs fan. I I, I can't stand yeah. them. <laughs> um, Carl, See, Carl, in, Carl, Carl, in chat, Carl in the chat. You need to um just retype that. Was was a red was. is. Is once a red, always a red, mate. Is there, is there any photos of him lifting any silverware up in a forest shirt? No. And that's your definition of being a blue. It's gotta be. It's gotta be a current definition, right? All right. That's so you want to do. All right. So what's Madison lifted? FA Cup. Okay, but no Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> was he with you when he won the uh, FA Cup? Of course he was. Yeah. He's got that tattoo. Uh, the old fit. That was in the old purple kit, wasn't it? That fluky girl from Tillersman. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. You've got to give us that. We, we, we know Mate, you were lucky that man. day. You were lucky that day. I spoke oh, to loads on. of Leicester fans who were just happy to be in the final. I was not I was, expecting to. We, no one was expecting to win the Prem, so we weren't expecting to win the FA Cup, were we? <laughs> Look, it is what it is. We've won something, you know, and, and some of these other teams like Spurs haven't won jack for over 30 years and that's they, true that's true a big six side get out of town i'm not saying not are. anymore sitting what? in eighth mate Jeez. but you know you've always had like over the last few years you've, you've had a decent squad put together yeah you've always got a good few wins i enjoyed watching you tonking menu was it 4-2 last season uh, yeah four, you know what there's been some good goals uh, against them I, I recently watched the uh the replay of the 5-3 dominate demolition of uh, man united when we were first back in the prem oh about nearly nine years ago eight years ago yeah yeah esteban Cambiaso. what a player he was Good player, good player. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe he signed. Oh shit, a great player. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe that he signed for us at that time. It's mad. mad. Uh, and saying Wes Morgan, born and bred in Nottingham, and was always be a massive Forest fan. For fuck's sake, he even bleeds red. Literally, <laughs> mate. You got you got him going. You got him going with this Wes Morgan stuff. Hey, hey, I thought, what can I throw in for a bit of bait where all the boys in the chat are going to nibble on? And I throw the <laughs> biggest fucker out there. And I, Wesley Morgan, is a bloke. And they've all nibbled, didn't they? The pond, the, the ripples oh. in the water. I get me big net out. I've caught loads. <laughs> you got loads. You got loads. But we got some of your lot fighting back. Forest, Dad, you realize your blood is blue. Here we go. The rivalry is starting. Uh, right. Guys in the chat. Guys in the the chat forest fans leicester fans yeah do we like each other do we hate each other or do we not care about each other i think that's it's the, the third question. one i think it's the third one i don't yeah really give, i don't really give a shit but but for the banter side of course i do it's funny <laughs> but well, well, do you know what mate I'll, I'll put it like this right i don't really care about leicester I, I i honestly didn't mind when you won the league i'll be straight with you yeah but we're both sitting on 17 points we're yeah. both both we're both, you know, <laughs> look, looking, you know, more over our shoulders than uh, uh-huh. in front of us. Yeah? yeah. So this is big. This is big tomorrow, isn't it? I mean, three points. One of us goes on 20 points. or so Obviously, we draw. But 20 points will feel massive and a little gap will emerge. I think Leeds are losing. Last I checked, 1-0 at Villa. I've got it on, yes. Yeah, 1-0 at the minute. At Still 1-0? Yeah. So, uh, you know... Yeah. So all these teams <laughs> down the bottom, it's a bit of a battle of probably you could drag in maybe nine, ten teams quite comfortably into this fight at the moment. So Mental. these next few games coming up are actually huge. And for me, that's what <laughs> Mod's asking for it to be civil in there. Let them loose, mate. Let them loose. Let, Let them loose. loose. Oh, my Let God. You you even got Sharky going. Where's Morgan donated 10 yeah. grand retirement win He's for. a legend, mate. He's a legend. Yeah. He's brilliant. He's a legend, but he's red. Yeah, so um, let's, let's get into the game and talk about tomorrow, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, that, that, for me, that, for me, says it all. It's the stars. No stars, you know. We listen, are where we are. N- listen, all these stars, you can't really put a star on your top for a Premier League title, can you? That's the problem. You get the gold badge for a year on yeah, loan. Yeah, we, well, we had one of them. Yeah, I don't see it gold anymore, mate. I've still got it somewhere in the loft. 
<laughs> gathering <laughs> dust, man. <laughs> Better times. Well, I tell you Better what, I'll, I'll still cherish it, mate, because it's—I don't think you'll ever achieve that. I'm sorry to say it, but I don't think you will. I don't think many. Mate, you're not will. seeing the squad we're building, mate. Have you not yeah, seen the Brazilian like sensations we've brought oh, in? God. I'm sorry, you're just not competing with the likes of that flipping PIF that have come in and bought Newcastle out and the rest of the fucking ridiculous amounts of money in the big six. You're never going to topple it. It was a, it was one of those seasons where it just had to happen. It gives us all hope that we can all try and fucking win it still. But realistically, come on, it's just too far out of our reach. It's well, I, I don't know, mate. I don't know. We've got the Greek father, Mar Maranakis. You know, he's got his drug money, he's got all <laughs> kinds of sorts. Of, you know, he owns Olympiacos, he buys what he wants when he wants. We're splashing the money left, right, and center. We've just spent 18 million on a Brazilian wonder kid. Yeah. We've got Scarpinia yeah. coming you for tomorrow's night. We're building, yeah. we're building something here, mate. We, we are. haven't, I, we haven't, we haven't spent <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, you got you got all kinds of financial issues with uh, your own. Yeah, yeah, you? yeah, Didn't but, they get really screwed in COVID times, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, because it's obviously the king power, isn't it? So it's on, yeah, based, it's based on duty free, um, and well, what wasn't happening during COVID? Travel <laughs> speaks for itself, <laughs> doesn't it? You know, and that's just it's an unfortunate thing, isn't it? It's, it's what can you do? Um, I think we were probably our own worst enemies as well. You know, not qualifying for Champions League twice back to back mm. Mm. you know just just missing it out um i think that probably affected finances because there's a lot of money in champions league football there's shit loads you'd, you'd know you was in it years ago many years yeah ago. It, well it wasn't called champions league football back no, then, but yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah it wasn't called that was it but yeah so i'm gonna um, i'm gonna ask the chat as well i'm gonna put a poll out while lee carries on is this a rivalry or not i want to know where they they uh, feel on it it's i mean it, it, look it's I like the fact that it's a it's a East Midlands rivalry because there isn't there ain't many clubs around that have actually got yeah, anything yeah. about them. There's only Forest, yeah. us, <sighs> Derby are fucked, Coventry are nowhere to be seen. Who cares about them? Yeah. So you you got to have something around. Else you're gonna be what you're gonna who else you're gonna be pissing about with Wolves or someone. Oh yeah, I'd agree them. with you there. I'd agree. I think there's one more thing we could agree on that Leicester itself as a city is an absolute shithole. Well, I think there's there's plenty of money that's gone outside of the city centre, but it's the city centre that's fucked, yeah. Oh, it's an absolute dump, mate. The city, city centre's ruined, mate. It's fucked. Mate, coming in, because I'm yeah. down in Cambridge, I'm coming down that A47 into Leicester. Oh, God. Yeah. But the, the, other, the other end, the other end's not too bad. <laughs> um, Foss, Foss Park, that's fucking millions of pounds have gone into that. Which the Well, that's is, just because everyone stops there for petrol, mate. That's, that's, the, that's, the, problem, that's the problem. Everyone's, it's being drawn away from the city to there. It's like money needs to go into the city centre desperately. But isn't like city centre shopping or that shit gone out the window anyway these days? Yeah, everything's Amazon, isn't it? No everything's going, Amazon. No no one's going to invest in this city centre now, are they? You'd be mad. <laughs> Guys in the chat, I hope you're enjoying it. Let's have a quick look at the <laughs> poll. Please please don't forget to hit the like button. There's 100 of you in here. We're only on 19 likes. Stop being so lazy. Hit that like button. So is it a rivalry? 23% are saying yes, Lee. 50% are saying no. And 27% are saying don't care. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's just, I think it's just good to have something local there, to be honest with you. It just makes it more entertaining. If you've not got it? something local there, what have you got? Fuck all. Weezy well, saying Leicester want the rivalry so bad, trashing bars in Nottingham last season. Naughty Leicester, I thought. Hmm? Yeah, but come on, it happens with any fans. All fans are dickheads. <laughs> Those sort of fans. Let's be honest. That I'm, I am not gonna hold. You know, hold my hands up. That bloke that ran onto the pitch as well. Fuck you now. Yeah. That was embarrassing. All right, let's let's jump in and start talking about the stuff on the pitch, mate. So we've got we came to your place. We were shit. That was probably the worst game we've had this season. And you could only put four past us. Yeah. I mean, any other decent team would have tonked us seven, eight, nine nil. We were playing that bad. Yeah. I can't remember what team we had out that game. So I'm just gonna Well you had Madison, mate, because you're a one man team, let's face it. Uh, yeah? I wouldn't say we're a one man team. But who else are you gonna go chuck on, in? There? You go you go on you, you go on spieling your oh, spiel. well, I'm just saying you had Madison, Barnes got a goal, a bit of a fluky goal oh, as well yeah. that night. Since that goal, he's been I don't need, I think he's 
still there that night. He's disappeared. <laughs> is he fit? Is he fit? I don't know. There's something wrong with him. It's broken. He don't. He's not doing what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> you know. You, I'm sure you get that. I'm sure you get that. What I mean. Like you, I get it. Yeah. It's like what I don't know. He's lost. I'm he's a bit of an enigma, isn't he? He's like yeah. he, when he when he's good, he's hot, and when he's not, not he's fucking not. He's carried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the team but, now. So we started with Castagna, Evans, Fars, and Justin. Oh, Justin, another one that's fucking injured and out for the season. Forgotten oh. about him, have you? <laughs> God, it's just yeah. Well, he's injured that bad, that long. It's just like oh, this fucking season. Well, so I've we started got to say, quite strong. started quite strong actually. Started with Vardy up top, didn't we? Barnes. Yeah. Well, Vardy was getting in behind against our uh, pace merchant Steve Cook, so he was yeah. having a field day with those long balls over the top into the channel. Thank yeah. God Cook's been dropped since then. Well, I mean, he got a few more games, but uh, if I see <laughs> Cook playing in the Premier League this season, it better not be in a red shirt. But yeah. overall, it was that first half. It just killed us. Three quick fire goals, and then Daka got that unintentional back heel, if I remember rightly, in the yes. second half. Well, let me say unintentional, but I don't think he pulled it off quite well. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, anything was going in that day. Freaking yeah. Madison's free kick went in. Uh, yeah. Barnes decides to crack one from outside the box. It was just your night. Yeah, you got. You have one of them. You have them games though where like you'll you'll shoot forty fucking times, and it won't just won't go in. It's like a force field. So it's one of them nights. It's just. Yeah, but we were in a run, right, where that team where it doesn't go in was facing us every week and it was going in yeah. and it was always worldies. Yeah, yeah we had well yeah. centre back scoring against us against Newcastle, you know, Ashley bloody young putting one in from outside the box for Villa. You know, when was the last time he scored? But we're through that phase, mate. And we're coming into this match now. And for us, this is a revenge match because... The players are fired up over this because they know how shit they were at the King Power. Yeah. yeah. And I'm seeing in, I'm not seeing a glint in your eye of confidence, mate. You've no, talked mate. about I'm not. I'm not. you've talked about your injuries, yeah. You've talked about your form. Your form, I think you've lost the last three or four in the league straight, it's, haven't you? It's it's bad. Um I don't think we've picked anything up since well, since before the World Cup. <sighs> Zero I'll points. Check. I'll just double check. I'm, yeah, I'm let's almost, get an official confirmation on that. I'm, alm I'm You're, almost certain. Uh, so a lot. Your me. last win was against... Stealing them in the FA Cup, but before that... Your last win was West Ham, wasn't it? November? You no, know, I'm having a lot now. West November, Ham. yeah, West Ham. Oh, my God. So you haven't... Was, have you had any Cup. points? That's, yes, that was the World Cup, wasn't it? And, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mate, is Rogers on the verge? I... Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't think he's had support money wise. Really. Yeah. Um yeah, you had a terrible summer window, didn't you? I mean yeah, fast came in. Obviously two, he's your yeah. best striker. Yeah. Two years ago we were down with so many injuries again that we had fucking Wolves' right back Ryan Bennett on loan as an emergency <laughs> sign in. Right. And then we wonder and then you laugh and then you wonder why we fucking didn't get Champions League football. And the same thing again the following season. Again, we had no power, no no manpower anywhere. It's just like and, and again this season's exactly the same thing, apart from the fact that we started this season, Casper Schmeichel just What was that about? Run. Why did he go yeah. to France? Well, I was on holiday. I was on holiday, right? And I checked my phone in the morning, it was only my second day on my holiday, and I went, Casper's left. What the fuck? You know, and there was no like pre warning. He just fucked off. Uh, and and because it was Nice, happened, wasn't it? He? he went to Nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's not worked out for him there, is it at all? So nah. I'm not sure what's gone on there, but one thing I do know, it left us a rough it left us a right hole in the in the sticks because Ward yeah. is not it. And mate, he's terrible. Like, exactly. isn't the only clean sheet he's had against Forrest? He had a he had a fucking worldie for Wales one game in the World Cup, but even they were shit, weren't they? Really? I, well, I, we know we had Hennessy for him golf, I mean, and he's terrible. You know, yeah, just we get all kinds of banter coming your way from the it's chat. All right. It's all good, man. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. I'm bringing it out, mate. Ez What's... is saying, Lee, how much longer can you milk the Vardy looking like cash been, cow for? I've not been milking that for two fans about three months. That was it. Don't know why that's still a thing. It's really weird. 
I, I don't know what this is. Megaphone saying, Lee, didn't Vardy kick you off when you approached him on a coach? People make this shit up. No, we uh, we had selfies and drank champagne. Yeah. Yeah. Because I got to say, mate, I'm sure you you hear it a lot, but bloody hell. Talk yeah. about under the right light, how badly you look like him, mate. Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? You can't change your face. <laughs> I suppose you could. Do you still have confidence in Rogers? Did someone say? Yeah. Uh, he's a good coach. He, he's got. He's got to be a good coach. He won the fucking FA Cup with a depleted squad. For fuck's sake. Um, he's had some good finishes with Leicester as well. To, you know, in, in top six sort of finishes, European football. You, not many managers can say that. Um, I think. He makes some dodgy decisions as well, some mm. really strange subs. And you mm. question, like, what the fuck? 32,000 people want, say, NDD off the pitch, and and he's leaving him on, and, you know, it's like, what are you doing? And then if he loses a game, he won't, he'll won't. he never put his hands up and say, yeah, I got this wrong or I got that wrong. He'll blame yeah. something. Like, he'll blame the fans or he'll blame... He'll name a player like, oh, Soyuncu just wasn't up for it today. He was shit. You know, it's like, you don't do that. Yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't throw players or your fans under a bus. You don't do it. So there is a few. Questions. And also, he's tiny, mate. He's like yeah. a little Frodo Baggins, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe he's got big balls or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but but you still. What is what is the mood within with the fan base? Are they uh, are they Rogers out or Rogers in or well, is this a deciding factor tomorrow? I remember about four years ago when Claude Puel was at the dying days of him being gone. And I remember fans starting just to start to scrap and shout at each other in the stands. Yeah. Um, and it's happening now as well. It's just starting to happen now. Yeah. Where they're, they're arguing and amongst themselves. So that's when you know it's at breaking it's point. Yeah, yeah, that's when you know. When, you, when the fans yeah. start arguing amongst themselves, and fuck off, you, you know, so-and-so, that's when you know. That's when you know it's on the verge, yeah. yeah. Um, let's, let's bring up some of these comments and then we'll get into the team. I know you haven't got too much time. It's all Luke right. saying, Wolverine, how you grey at 20 something? I don't, I don't, Lee is clear, mate. I was a full, full black hair I had until we started <laughs> the Premier League, yeah. Being 21, it's it's not easy, it's not easy. You'll know once you get to that age, Luca. <laughs> Watching the historic mighty Reds from European football from 1970 coming to the 2020. Pandemic. Genuinely, I was it's not born. Great. Genuinely, <laughs> genuinely, I was not born then, mate. That's but made you grey. <laughs> it made no. Honestly, the first, you know, the first half of the season, fully great. Um, <laughs> Can't believe as a for... Leicester as a Leicester fan, I've just subbed to Nottingham Forest TV. Oh, yeah. hey, full, full, full comfort yet. Fight Jet with a name like Fight Jet, you're a FIFA player, so welcome aboard, mate. Yeah. We'll play on Ultimate Team sometime. I'll destroy you. Um, <laughs> should we have a look at your team, mate? I know you've got a pretty yeah, yeah, team. I'm yeah. dying um, to see this. So because... did, did this show earlier uh, with my side? Uh, they vote in their positions and who's who's left, basically. Yeah. <laughs> on yeah. this one, there's no bench, just question marks. <laughs> I apologise on that. <laughs> And also, guys, just before Lee goes into the team, his uh, YouTube channel is linked in the title. Make yeah. sure you go and click on that and subscribe and go and give him some abuse because we'll take the abuse from the Leicester fans and Lee yeah. will more than happily take the abuse from our lot. So I'll, I'll, let me put you up on solo mode, mate. And yeah, uh, cool. so everyone um, can see. Uh, obviously, obviously, Danny Ward's going to be in goal. Um, there's no Thank pressure. God. There's no question about that because we've not really got... I mean, we've got a second one who's, who's called Everson, but I don't think he's really got much Premier League experience, yeah. so he's not going to yeah. go in. Uh, you've got Sideshow Bob, uh, uh, Walt Faz, with uh, Kaglao Soyuncu as your centre-backs. Just before you go further, mate, he is a cracking striker, that Faz guy. Those goals <laughs> against Liverpool were fantastic. Really. Yeah. Listen, he scored more goals than Nunes at that, at that point. <laughs> <laughs> at Anfield so um, Luke Thomas at left Syston Boy uh, Castagna at right because we've got no one else to go left and right because James Justin and Ricardo are both snapped ACLs and whatever else uh, NDD is CDM because uh, Sue More is injured and out uh, Dennis Pratt I don't know if he's going to be in or not because he's literally just coming back from injury if not I mean what a name I mean he suits Leicester nicely yeah yeah Dennis Prayat all right I'll oh. say it properly. How's that sound? Yuri Tielemans. Pratt sounded better, the FA, mate. Pratt the, sounded better. The, the, the <laughs> FA Cup strike. The legend, the myth, 
Yuri Tielemans will be in at box to box. Is he uh, signed yet or is he gone? Uh, what do you mean by that? He's he's going in the summer, isn't he? Who knows? Has he signed a new contract? Listen, James Madison has been going Arsenal for the last 12, 24 months. So that's true. Yeah. Uh, Harvey Barnes on the left. Hope he actually you know plays to, properly tomorrow. Uh, Michael Brighton on the right. Yes, he is still playing the fossil. That is Michael Brighton. Um, <laughs> again, there's no one on that right side because we haven't got anyone uh, alive. And uh, Jamie Vardy. Yes, he's still going and he's still trying and hopefully he'll fucking score against you boys tomorrow because I, I, I really want to see Vardy net a few against you lot. That's the one. So you can all run all run up to you and fucking sure shot. That is. So I mean he's gonna he hasn't got the legs to get into the box anymore, mate. I mean how old is he now? How old is he now? Uh, well he's I'm I'm thirty six so he's probably thirty six <laughs> and he's still playing. <laughs> yeah. Where's Dakar? He's injured isn't he? Dakar, uh, I don't know. He, he, I, I think he'll be all right. He sh- he'll probably start, to be fair, and Vardy will probably, could probably come on super sub or something. Yeah. But uh, we'll deal him with wearing an Arsenal shirt tomorrow. <laughs> 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 so tell him it's going Arsenal. Madison, apparently Newcastle soon. Are you going to lose anyone in this window, do you think? Ooh, I think maybe... Madison being injured might turn a few teams off and buy yeah, him. Yeah, save you. Mm. Maybe. That's what happened with Ricardo because I thought Ricardo yeah. Pereiro, before he took that first ACL, it was Leicester were flying. when he Before he got injured for the first time, we were yeah. flying. And I thought, fucking hell, he's going to go somewhere massive. We ain't going to see him again after the summer. Yeah. And then he does his ACL. And, you know, unfortunately, he's been injured really ever since. So I think that's halted his career. Yeah, it's uh, you've had. I'll give you. You got you got some nasty it's injuries at the time for Forest. You I do. mean, you and... know, it's just one after another. Like Castagna broke his face after the Euros. <laughs> you know, how do you break your face? You know, shattered his collar, but his uh, his eye socket and nose and like what the fuck? How did he do it? Was there any explanation? I, I don't remember because there's been that many. Last... Because there's been that many. Honestly, it's. Bloody hell. Well, we got a few injuries, mate. So don't give me the sub story because oh, our best no, when you've not got a big squad, it is a sub story because after a while it just gets repetitively boring. Well, we're we're going through the same thing. Our biggest gripe is that when we get injured, when we get an injury, we're told they'll be back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Like Nia Kate got injured against West Ham in August. Yeah, yeah. We still haven't seen him. We still haven't seen him. It's ridiculous. As saying, Lee, if you think Leicester will stay up, who goes down? Oh, good I, question. I will be honest with you. I, I'm going to say this out, out right now. Whoever wins this game of Saturday stays up and the other goes down. That's what I reckon. You're putting that much on this game? Yeah, I think so. Although it's early on still, technically. I really think one of us is going down. Red or blue, you choose. But uh, I'll choose blue to go down, mate. I, I, I've got Wait, no... What? I've, I, I'm not very confident with Leicester staying up yeah. at the yeah. minute as it stands, unless we see some sort of commitment with money coming in. I'm a bit, I am concerned. Yeah. But you are, you're always concerned when you're near that. I'm oh, fuck me. Look at the table, guys. With 19th position, there's three points from us. Yeah. There's nothing in it. So you've got to be yeah. a, a little bit worried. But, but if, you, if we go on a run, if you go on a run, right? So, I mean, ninth is on what? Uh, sorry, 10th is 25 points, which is Chelsea, which is hilarious. So you're looking at, what, three, eight points off 10th, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, eight points is a lot these days. <laughs> it's not like the championship. <laughs> you know, we've not had three points since November, so <laughs> keep giggling. <laughs> <laughs> I- I'm liking your lack of confidence, because when we played Southampton, we had the Southampton guys on. They, too weren't very confident but they've gone on a little cup run oh don't get yourself over i'm not confident it's not because we're playing you it's because it is it's because no no it's not it's because we're playing that's it (laughs) it doesn't doesn't matter who we're playing leicester versus x and whoever it is that's it so would you all right let me ask you this lee this is an interesting question if tomorrow (laughs) you were playing against southampton yeah would you be any more confident no not even at home, I'll I'll even put you at the king power. Fucking that, mate. We we our first shot on goal against Newcastle at King Power was the eighty seventh minute. 
shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god! All right, well, uh, I've shown you, I've shown you our team, right? Um, in your yeah. preview, and guys, go check out Lee's preview video. It's fantastic, and uh, I loved his reaction when he saw how cocky I was being. And I, I, I saved all I did right when I downloaded your video and you sent it yesterday. I just made sure the audio worked. That was it. I didn't watch yeah. it. I wanted to react naturally while live. So yeah. the first time I watched it was with everyone else. And I thought, fucking hell, he's really going for a win. Like, like really confidently going for a win. I, I don't know. Your face looked more like, who's this fucking cocky prick, mate? Well, yeah, it was. <laughs> it, I'm not going to lie. You know, I was like, fucking who have I let who have I put on my channel here? But, you know, fair enough. You can't be confident, ain't you? you got to be. I'm well, I'm always confident until three o'clock. <laughs> That's the well, actually, I'll say this. I'm always confident until two o'clock and I see the team sheet. That's when I start to worry. But the team sheet on our end has started to settle down. We're put stringing a few results together. We've got Scarpa as well, mate. I bet you don't know nothing about him. Well, I just seen that you signed someone, didn't you? Is it that's today? Danilo? Yeah, that's his mate from the same team, Palmeiras. Oh, yeah, is he a Brazilian lad? Yeah, yeah, twenty-one. Yeah. He's a bit Pogba-esque. Some say he's Casemiro-esque. He's a bit of mix of both. I say you can chuck in Jude Bellingham. This guy's the real deal. He's going to be next level. But you're lucky you won't face him. He's doing his medical over the weekend. But Scarpa, you will have to face, hopefully. And he, Wonder Brazilian guess. player of the year, he's like he's a genius as well. He can solve a Rubik's Cube in 30 seconds. Yeah. And <laughs> we also got to do with football. Mate, that shows intelligence. Intelligence. Okay. Football's 90% in the okay. mind, mate. Come on, right. you wouldn't know that being a Leicester fan, okay. I know. But okay, still. Listen, listen, you know when we wipe the floor of you, I am going to send you a TikTok video of me trying to do a Rubik's Cube wearing fucking Nor Nottingham Forest shirt, all right? You'll put a Forest shirt on? Uh, honestly, I will wear a fucking Forest shirt. If we fucking spank you, I'll wear a Forest yeah. shirt, I'll, I'll nick all your graphics, and I'll imitate you on my fucking channel. Oh, Rubik's Cubes! All right. Let's do it. Let's Let's do it. Let's do Guys, it. in the chat, right. we've got this on... On YouTube, it's yeah. live. You heard what he said. Fucking Rubik's Cubes. Rubik's Cubes, mate. If it's all about on, the Rubik's If he comes on. 31, Scarpa. I guarantee you he scores tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, so I'm just going backwards to some shit comment in your chat. Um, was uh, Third kit. Third kit. A blue is that sort of third kit. Yeah, funny that. Leicester had a third kit, and that was shitty red. So, you know, it's the same fucking thing. All right, all right, yeah. Anyway, that was more on. purple, mate. What, the one you had in the uh, FA Cup? It, it, no, it was well, It was before that. There was a shit red one. I can't remember it. Yeah, yeah. It was, was it that bad? Yeah, it, yeah, it was. I, I refused to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're on, mate. You're on. Like, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not going to beat you with him on the pitch anyway so don't worry about it i ain't worried about it. look i'll be honest with you as long as madison ain't playing i feel you have no <sighs> chance i'm going three nil mate but then again You're, forest whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. whoa. Come, chill chill you bean right this ain't the x-men three nil <laughs> three nil <laughs> three three nil <laughs> What are, you smoking? what are you smoking over there? Seriously. Mate, I'm, uh, a few things tonight, yeah. But your crap, we're due a win that's bigger than 1-0. Because we've only ever won 1-0 in the Premier League, right? Yeah. And you're the right team to get that tongue king. Because remember last season, we put four past you anyway. And we were a shitty championship team then. Yeah, but you Some know, would argue come, we were better than we are now. But Come on, come on. FA Cup's different, man. Come on. You can, Mate, you your got, team you last smashed... year... You got smashed not long ago yourself, didn't you? I got knocked out by. Did you get knocked out by fucking talking? I United? can't remember. I can't remember. No, it I can't was. Remember. No, I can't it was remember. So it, was, it wasn't Blackpool. It wasn't exactly. Blackpool. Yeah, it was like Sherwood Forest Club FC or something, wasn't it? It was. It was bad. Whatever it was. I would have probably taken getting smashed by them over Blackpool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You you just about scraped through. I mean, what team did you put out in the FA Cup? Just about uh, scraped through. I thought we were going out. Gillingham. <laughs> It's chilling, wasn't it? One nil, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was bad by the scrape of our teeth. <laughs> uh, Sharky wants to know: Will Leicester wear blue tomorrow or an away kit? I can imagine blue because it's got. A, you've got a. The, the Premier League will probably want blue, won't they? Red, blue. The, the, yeah. Of course they will. 
sometimes it's down to them as well, isn't it? Fucking Premier yeah. League. It's a TV Getting show, involved. guys. It's not just football. It's a TV production for the world. It's entertainment, it? isn't it? It's yeah. entertainment. Yeah. yeah, well, Simon's saying Gillingham a bottom team in the Football League, mate. Yeah, that's good. At least we lost to third from bottom in the championship. But we still won. <laughs> 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 I can't argue. Though. Did you put out your first team though? No. What? I mean, when you say first team, we've only really got like eighteen. Oh, yeah. There's, there's not really much else to it. You know, we're mm. we're patched up and not really ready to go. <laughs> it's, it's fucking bad. You know what, guys in the chat, are you feeling more or less confident? Now that we've uh, spoken with Lee about tomorrow's game, Dina you said about what? time we had some proper banter. You know, this no, is what no, I love, no, mate. No. This is <laughs> yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not. Confident. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if they're feeling more or less confident about tomorrow. Lee, I, I mean, we've overrun. I know you've got. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm literally. I'm going in five minutes. All I'm going to say is, if we if we had our actual players that we staply had for quite a while, where we were like establish ourselves as a top 10 side. Yeah. I think we would have destroyed you. But the fact that James Justin is out, or the fact that Sumare is out, the fact that Ricardo Pereira is out, James Madison's out, Kim and Drewsby Hall is out, Dennis Pratt might uh, might be there tomorrow. Who knows? I don't care if Perez is out or not because he's been absolutely shit since we signed him. Why did we waste so much money on fucking Perez? Who is he still him? at Leicester? Is he still at Leicester? Yes. The ex-Newcastle guy? Yes. Oh, mate, they sold you an absolute dud there, mate. <laughs> they sold you an absolute dud. <laughs> oh. How much did you pay for him? Don't. I don't know. 30 mil. <laughs> yeah, but all right. So how many injuries have you got with this whole, you know, world's smallest violin? Because I reckon we got more than you. Yeah, but yours are probably shitty academy players. These are our key players. No, ours are first teamers. Mm, well, maybe you've got a bigger team than us now. I don't know. Well, we did buy half the uh, football league mate, in the summer, didn't we? So yeah, well, that's what you get have when you've got more money than sense. Well, you know, it's better to have money than be in your position. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, well, we did have money at one point. What did you do with it all? I mean, you probably spent it all on that Perez guy, didn't you? <laughs> no, no, it's gone. It's obviously been invested into the club as well. Don't forget, we have got the training facility and all that bollocks that they've done and the ground expansion. But it's no good if you're not in the fucking Premier League. Anyway, um, we do need to buy some players. Hello? And maybe, maybe we might actually buy someone during the transfer window. Who knows? Well, I hope you go down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chappie, come on the show. It'll be fun. We'll have a tiny bit of banner. I hope you fucking go down. I just thought, because if you go down, it means like we're less likely to go down. You know what I'm saying? So, but all right, let's let's do this. Should we should we agree? Like, let let's end on as friends, right? Let's agree on the three teams we would like to see down. My number one is Boring Mouth, as I call. It. I want them down. They're not a club, man. They got a bike shed for a stadium. Where are you on Boring Mouth? Do you uh, want to see him stay or go down? I like Bournemouth when Eddie Howe was there. He's not there, so no, lose no. that one. So I, I, I don't care uh, on them. They can go down. Yeah, that's great. Everton would be funny because obviously yes. they have been a Premier League establishment for many, 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 many years and, and not gone. Never so, been relegated. Yeah. yeah, so it's one, you know, tick. Uh, Southampton, I mean, they've been down and come up and been down and come up over the years. So I don't see why they probably won't do the same, to be honest. You think they'll go? Mm. But... I think we have got a slight chance of falling to to, to the sword as well. I, and I don't mean that and say that just because I'm here to, you know, give you shits and giggles. I generally think we are in a rough patch. And if we don't solve it, we could see ourselves very close. Yeah. So you potentially you think loser goes down tomorrow, mate? Potentially, news. There is potential. I mean, you've, you've signed players and you've got a little bit of money, so maybe not, but... I'll just banter him maybe for a bit of fun on air, but I think it is very important tomorrow. It's a very I was going to ask you, what happens if we draw? Are we both going down or do we both survive? <laughs> How does that fit into the equation? Yeah, it's it's not good. Um, um, it's not good enough for either one of us, a draw, really, let's be honest. Draw, yeah, it doesn't help. It doesn't if, help. You, you look at Crystal Palace and you know they've got a game in hand of us and they've also got five points ahead of us. Yeah. It's not... 
But they weren't even good, man. We They're saw them shit. at the city ground. Yeah, They're they shit. didn't have a shot on target. They missed a penalty, you know. It, I still think a lot of teams can get dragged down in this. I still think one team will get on their horse and gallop up the table. And I think someone I, yeah. else will drop like a stone. That's I, look, my prediction. I, I, I know I've been calling my team a little bit pants recently, but you know what? I, I, at the same time, there has been a bit of unlucky results. I think we should have won against Fulham. It was one of those games where I just couldn't score. Like... Yeah. Are you one about, you know, can't stop scoring, everything goes in? It was the other, yeah. other way around for us, that yeah, fixture. Yeah. Liverpool, I don't understand what happened. It was like, God, just turned on glitch mode on FIFA. Um, you know, you know, because they were absolutely shit and we scored three goals and lost 2-1. It don't make sense. You know, you write that down on paper and reread it and you'll scratch your head over and over. It don't make sense. So that was, that's glitched. That don't count. So overall, maybe it's not been too bad at the start. I don't know. Maybe um maybe I've had too much to drink. Maybe it's bedtime. It is indeed, mate. All right, let's finish up with some predictions, guys. In the chat, get your predictions in. I've gone three 0 Forest. Maybe maybe if VAR goes your way like it usually does, you'll get one, and it'll be three one. What are you going mm. with, guys? In the chat, let us know what you're going. God, my I've got two. My heart says. My heart says. 2-1 Leicester. My head says probably lose 2-0. Shit, you're actually... I thought you'd be saying a draw, which really would mean that psychologically you thought you were going to lose. Mm. But if your head's saying a loss, you're fucked. Mm. How are you going to sleep tonight? Uh, very well. I've got a very, 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 <laughs> very, attra a very attractive missus. My missus is far better than the uh, the real one that you saw in the in the chat a minute ago the the, the grass <laughs> well I, i'm speechless mate i've never had uh, another fan uh, another uh youtuber come on and not at least give it the big guy i i respect the honesty mate i respect the honesty uh, that's what this industry is supposed to be about is real and and uh unfortunately there's a lot of fake reactionary shit on here um it's true I Very just try true. to keep it real and be honest, and that's that's it. You know, um, heart says, you know that you know win, but head says otherwise. It's also it's also a good strategy when you think about it, because if you do lose tomorrow, you can kind of say, "Well, I was right." Yeah, um, Simon in the chat. No, I I, I won't be going because I'm like uh, Wolverine here. I'm uh, working for the greatest company in the world tomorrow. Till two twenty-five, so I won't be there. No, <laughs> we won't say which one. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. What, 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 who said what? Now, who said what? Chap is all right for a bin dipper. <laughs> oh dear, I've not been. I think you've won a few. A I'm few thirty-six. Over, I'm thirty-six. Bin dipping's a long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I've gone past that now. <laughs> Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I, we've kept Lee on way longer than we agree, but it's been so much fun with him. I need each and every one of you, you Reds. I know we got to look, we got to take pity on them, right? And we can show him a little bit of respect by going and subscribing to Lee's channel if you <laughs> haven't already. Lee, what you got coming up on the channel? Are you going to be doing any post-match stuff as you, well? No, I'm actually going to be live while the game's on. So if you want to give me hell. By all means, come in and give me hell. Um, I'll be no, excited. don't, because I'm going to be live and you can... Well, that's fine. <laughs> they can, they can cross-chat, can't we'll they? And, yeah, we'll back and forth it, mate. Yeah, we'll yeah, back and forth it. Nothing wrong with that. I'll be live with the uh, lineups and all that shit. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. Um, you doing anything post-match after that? Will you be uh, crying on a review or anything? I mean, like I say, I'll keep it honest. If we were shit, I'll say we were shit. If we won, I'll say we were shit. <laughs> Wait, wait, I can tell you, right? I can tell you. I I did that against Palace. Yeah, it doesn't go down well with the fan base, but I don't care. It's what I thought. Yeah, I thought we played crap against Palace. I got help for it, but I'm just going to call it as it is. You know, it's got to be. You got to call what you see, win, lose, or draw in it. So they're loving your setup. Stand the man there, say what a great setup. I'm absolutely loving his setup. It's good to see like minded 
I'll um, always think try and help them. if you ever need an idea or help. I'll always, always, always. I've helped many and many a YouTuber out there, just undisclosed. You know, don't brag about it. There's a, quite a fair few big ones that have helped as well with a few bits and bobs. So if you need help, just hit me up. Of course we will, mate. And uh, let's see what happens tomorrow, buddy. We'll be uh, bantering, no doubt, tomorrow and seeing how it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Oh, my God. You're making me feel depressed, mate. And I'm I'm on the other side of the fence to this one. <laughs> All I'm going to say is if we win, if we win, I, I don't think you're going to hear the last of it. Anyway. Well, if we win, I can guarantee you the same. Uh, it's a bit, it means more to me than it does you, I think, at this point. Really? Yeah, well, you've had some. You've had results, haven't you? Since you come back from the World Cup, you've had something, haven't you? Oh, we have. We beat Southampton in well, a glorious one nil. Uh, you know, well, dire match, but we'll take it. Yeah, so we've, we're obviously in the semi-finals of the League Cup. It's our you know, turn. Destroy now. It's, all. It's, it's our turn now to get some points. It's our turn. Save it for your next match, mate. Save no. it for your next match. You don't need it yet. <laughs> you don't need it yet. <laughs> right, cool. I'm out. All right, thank you so much for being here. Mate. We'll, we'll catch up after the match and uh, see which one of us is crying more, mate. It'll, it'll end up being a nil-nil board draw, won't it? <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, yeah, probably. I, I, I hope I hope something happens. Some something. It's got to be goals in it. There's sure there's goals in this tomorrow. There's goals. There's got to be goals. Uh, if Forest win, I'll tell you now. It's just going to be one nil. That's all we do. Mm. That's all we do. Brilliant, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please go and subscribe to Lee. We'll be back tomorrow with the watch along. Watch it with me, watch it with Lee, or just have both on. There, there's the perfect solution. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch you then. And if anything else breaks on Danilo, we'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like before you leave. We'll see you tomorrow. Come on, you Reds.